Hi, I'm Mario. And a couple weeks ago, I did a video on back to school outfits. And since a lot of you like my modest outfit ideas videos, I thought I would do a back to school video, but with more modest outfits for those of you who have dress codes or strict parents or just like to dress modestly. So I hope you really like these outfit ideas. And if you do, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what videos you want to see in the future, what outfits you liked or what outfits you would come up with for modest back to school looks. And follow me on Instagram at the Dress Relief and on TikTok at Dress Relief for some more fashion content outside of YouTube and where I post my general updates on my channel. And let's get started. So first off, I went for kind of a 70s vibe and I did a very similar outfit in my last back to school outfits video wearing the same shirt on um, this striped long sleeve Henley shirt with a red and orange striped pattern that's very 70s like. And instead of the wide leg jeans I wore in my last video, this time I'm wearing a v-neck overalls chambray jean thing. And then I paired it with these Onitsuka Tiger sneakers and I think the sneakers and the overalls make it a very comfortable look and very easy to walk around campus with. And the Onitsuka Tigers also add to the 70s vibe because I'm pretty sure they're a pretty popular shoe in the 70s. And you might have seen on my Instagram story a couple weeks ago I wore this outfit and I was feeling real cute and then my dad told me I look like Chucky and he's not wrong. But I still think this outfit is pretty cute albeit a little murderous. And so I call this my Chucky outfit now which is you know, not someone I thought I would take fashion inspiration from, but here we are. Okay, so next I wanted a really comfy, casual outfit. So I have on these loose, flowy, stretchy brown pants. And then I pair that with a white top. It's actually a crop top, but I wore a cardigan over it to cover the midriff. But you could also wear a regular normal length t-shirt, um, wear the cardigan open. And then I paired it with these beige sneakers as well. Again, very comfy, casual outfit, but still very modest. And you can also tuck in the cardigan like so. And this is still a cute look as well. Okay, I'm gonna try to get through this one fast because it's a super hot day today and this leather jacket is so freaking heavy. So, basically I wanted to go for a very baggy oversized look. So I have on this oversized white button down shirt and this big leather jacket and I wore these super baggy jeans and originally I imagined wearing it uncuffed, um, super baggy with Converse or maybe Doc Martens, but I can't really pull off oversized looks like that because I'm so small. But you can try it yourself and see if it looks good on you, but for me, I preferred it cuffed and with a black boot with a little bit of a heel. And I feel like it looks a little bit more feminine and a little less like I'm drowning in fabric because I'm so petite. Okay, so next is a kind of edgy outfit. I have this black mock neck top on and it's short sleeve, so it's good for warmer weather, but of course, if it's colder where you are or if you need to cover up your arms, you can wear a long sleeve one. And I tucked that into these leather trousers and then I paired it with these white Converse sneakers just because I feel like you need to be comfortable at school and I'm trying to avoid wearing heels, but I think it'd also look good with the black heeled boot that I wore in the previous outfit, so I will show that as well. So this is a very similar outfit with the black mock neck shirt and the black heel boots. But this time I wore these grayish jeans with a slit on the side, but of course you could wear jeans without any ripped parts. Or you can wear leggings underneath this kind of pants. And then I will also throw on this crop leather jacket, or I could wear this regular length jacket. But I thought the crop style would look cute for this. Okay. 
Okay, next this is kind of a more modest version of one of the outfits I wore in my last back to school outfits video, but more modest. Oh wait, I just said that. I basically just swapped out the pleated skirt for some pants and I wore the same white t-shirt with a black sweater vest over it and these chunky loafers. And of course, if you need to cover up your arms, you can wear a long sleeve shirt instead. Also, please ignore the blue socks paired with the loafers. I could not find white socks at the moment. Okay, so for this look, I wanted to do that collar over a sweatshirt look that was so popular last year. So I have on this really fake collar. Um, it doesn't actually have the sleeves underneath, so it's really good for the heat if you live in an area with hot weather. And I layered over this blue sweatshirt, tucked that into some plain straight leg jeans. Of course, you don't have to go for ripped ones. And I paired that with some white Converse sneakers. So it's a very simple look, very achievable look, but it's still really cute and covers up quite a bit. Okay, so for another jeans outfit, this time I have on this lace white turtleneck. Uh, of course, you could wear a plain white turtleneck if you don't have one of these or if the lace is too revealing for you. And then I layered this leather jacket, or not leather jacket, but a leather shirt over it. It's this button down shirt, so I half buttoned it up and tucked it into the jeans, and I also cuffed the sleeves. And then for shoes again, I wore my white Converse sneakers. So I really love the contrast between the lace and the leather. I feel like it's a very feminine meets edgy kind of look. And if it's hot where you are, the lace is pretty breathable, so it makes the leather a little more bearable. So finally, I have this vintage grandma-ish kind of look. I have on these brown pleated trousers, and I have the same lace turtleneck I wore in the last outfit, and layered on a wool blue cardigan, buttoned it up all the way, and tucked it into the trousers, and I paired that with some comfy beige sneakers. So again, kind of feel like a grandma in this outfit, but that's kind of a look in itself, right? I feel like people like dressing like a grandma sometimes, and I think it's cute regardless. for watching again i hope you really like these outfits and if you did like comment subscribe follow me on instagram and on tiktok and i will see you guys next week